Well, over the course of, you know, many years, when it came to the Pittsburgh Penguins, we were always talking about who they may add at the deadline, who could fit in with them at the deadline, and them going to get Eric Carlson. And now we're talking about potentially selling off players, not because they're playing terrible, but they're just not doing what they expected to do this year when bringing in a guy like Eric Carlson. Welcome back to Gillis TV. If you're new to the channel, like anything NHL related from live streams, news, rumors, trades, whatever there is here, we got it covered. Every NHL team, same with the MLB, we try to do that as well. Now let's get into it. There's no doubt in out there that, you know, teams are asking Pittsburgh about Jake Getzel, maybe another player here or there, and it is believed that everyone's available except for Carlson, Latang, Crosby, and Malkin. Now, where's that lead them for goaltending? And of all the problems the Pittsburgh Penguins are having this far this season, goaltending is certainly not one of them, but our team's calling for a goaltender, seeing if they're available. The Pittsburgh goaltending is certainly not one of their problems, as they rank fourth in the NHL in both goals against and goals against average and save percentage. But according to Elliot Insider Elliot Friedman on Hockey Night in Canada Saturday night, among the trade pieces being discussed by teams in talks with the Penguins, he pointed to their changes between the pipes, and this is quote what he said straight from it. One position I do think. People have started to ask about the and the Penguins will consider is in net. They got Tristan Jari and Nedokovic at the NHL level. They've got a really good prospect in Joe Blumquist, who's having a good year in the American Hockey League. And a couple of teams have suggested to me that they might want to list the goalies who could be moved someone in Pittsburgh. So Jari 28 has finished top seven in the Vesna ballot. Twice, and this season in 37 games holds a 15, 17, and 4 record with the NHL leading 6 shutouts. So not a bad season for Jari, just like a lot of teams this year who were good last year, just can't score it seems like. And Jari is given the Pittsburgh Penguins games that they could win. Uh, so he has six shutouts along with a strong 916 save percentage and a 2.49 goals against average. He just signed a five year extension this past summer with a cap hit of 5.375. It's got four more years to run. Now, Delkovich in his first season in Pittsburgh has made 17 starts, has a record of 9 4 and 4 with a 915 save percentage and 267 goals against. Former second round pick in the 2020 draft, Joel Blumquist is having a tremendous year down in the HL with a mark of 16, 8, and 5 with a 918 save percentage and a whopping, actually, 2.17 goals against for the Wilkie Baron Scranton team down there. It wouldn't be surprised to see the 22 year old prospect get dealt in the team is looking to get younger, so they're thinking probably not going to go that way but I'll stop reading that there Elliot Freeman dropping that bombshell last night as that got me thinking Nikdokovic has been good over the last two three seasons even playing for Detroit last year and Tristan Jari we have seen them move on from goalies very early before they hit the 30s Jari could be an excellent pickup for a team that's in need of a net miner that has some playoff experience that can actually you know, help a team try and win that Stanley Cup. And there are teams out there looking for goalies. The Edmonton Oilers come to mind. The New Jersey Devils have been rumored to be searching for a goalie. Uh, Philadelphia is not really into the mix yet, but they could be another team. I don't see Pittsburgh really trading with them, though. So if one of the goalies are available, Pittsburgh could get a really good haul for him. It's just what does Kyle Dubas want to do and we've seen him when he was with Toronto make some wild trades that people were like why are you doing that this could be the same thing for the Pittsburgh Penguins that's gonna cut it short here today as you know it was a long night a long night for sure but thank you so much for tuning in I'm Gillis TV catch you on the next one